Hi guys, Ethereal Awakening here doing individual zodiac sign reading. This one's for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Check your North Node. Um, I'm also doing a subscription drive. So as soon as I get to 100 subscribers, I am going to do my first pick a card reading. I'll do one for the elements and then there will be three choices in each element. So there will still be an option of having a different reading than the one before you. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, it's my way of kind of pulling in and getting myself to 100 subscribers. So if you enjoy my readings, please subscribe. And let's see me get to 100 and do that pick a card reading. I enjoy watching other readers pick a card reading. So thought that might be a little treat. Um, again, this reading is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and check your North Nodes. Um, your heart is your best guide. If the message resonates, then it's for you. If it leaves a bad taste in your mouth, spit it out. Move on. No big deal. All right, Spirit, what messages do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Spirit, what messages do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For Virgo, Spirit, what messages are for Virgo? Spirit, what messages do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. That feels good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Current energy is Two of Rods, Ten of Swords, Heart Space, King of Cups, Temperance, a possible outcome, Ten of Rods, King of Rods. So, there is, you're currently not looking, well, here, let's see what the underlying energy is. Underlying energy, what you might not be aware of. Eight of Cups, Ace of Cups, Three of Swords. So, for me to look at this underlying energy, this is a prompting from spirit to look at yourself and how you feel emotionally. Because we have the three of swords with the ace of cups here. This is recognizing that the pain and loss and disappointment that we feel will be that motivating factor to leave the situation, leave that feet, the eight of cups recognizes that we've put all that we can put into a situation and now we want something better. We're moving away from something that is emotionally draining us. And that is moving away from pain and disappointment to fulfill our own emotional needs. So this is speaking to a Virgo who has been in an emotionally exhausting situation. And you've overthought it and you're not really looking at the thinking of it or I think you're recognizing the thinking part of it instead of the feeling part of it. And God is stepping in and removing one of those choices by leaving you emotionally or no, by leaving you mentally exhausted. The mental exhaustion comes from an emotional Ignore, you've ignored your emotions for so long that you're mentally fatigued. You're thinking about your feeling. That's what you're overthinking your feelings. In your heart space, you know this. This king is looking at temperance. It's temperance is that, you know, archangel stepping in and saying, you need to have an emotional balance. You need to look at your feelings, not with your head. Feelings are for feeling. Feelings are to be felt, not to make decisions based on. And this is that knowing that you've been emotionally reacting to things and it's left you overthinking them. Feelings are just for feeling. We feel them. We allow them. I'm sad. I'm mad. I'm unfulfilled. Whatever the feelings are, that's we feel them. Okay, and now what is it telling me about me? 
because in your possible outcome, we have this king of rods, this motivated and adventurous king looking squarely at the burdens. I mean, there's two tens here. The ten of rods and the ten of swords are both present. And this is exactly what I was saying, that you are overthinking your feelings and you're not but in your heart space you know this each feeling that you're feeling whether you react to it or you ignore it you're not really giving it the proper edification i mean if if we feel our feelings we're recognizing ourselves as a whole person who has feelings and very valid and what it's trying to teach you about yourself. Virgo, what are your feelings trying to teach you about yourself? Not about the situation. Not about the other person involved. Not about anything external you. Your feelings are there to help guide you to you. And that is exactly what's happening here is you've overthought your feelings to the point where they have overburdened you and left you feeling completely dead on arrival. The motive the king the king of rods wants to be motivated into the way I reign over my kingdom is excitedly and passionately and with spirit as my right hand man. One rod, not ten if that king gives gives you, like, look, he wants to give the guy with ten rods one more rod. Like, here you go, bro. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to finally get you to look at your emotions as me. My emotions are trying to tell me something about myself. Archangel Michael is here to help heal. Be patient with yourself. Understanding with yourself. Compassionate with yourself. Looking at the feelings as those intuitive guides how to get out of something or get into something that's better. Better. Even if you repeat the cycle, even if you come to this in your outcome, it will all be worth it if you learn the lesson, the emotional lesson it's trying to teach you about yourself. And this underlying energy is trying to pull out the Ace of Cups here. This is those emotions that you can start giving to others because your cup is full. You are emotionally fulfilled. You've healed the past traumas. You've healed your broken heart by looking at you and what it's trying to tell you about you. Now your cup is full because you've gleaned the lessons necessary to be an emotional, an emotional gangster. I mean, you've gotten your heart. The King of Cups looking squarely at Michael, saying, what do I need to do? What do I need to do, Michael? Heal. Be kind to yourself. Don't allow the King to give you one more rod if you can simply just navigate away from the feelings that are, what, what are the bad feelings trying to teach you? And how are you supposed to move away from things that you've put in all you can put in because it's like you're you're putting in too much when it comes you're overthinking your feelings you're overthinking your feelings when you just need to simply feel them so i hope this has helped virgo and uh subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you next time